Hands more under. Back up just a little bit. Uh, ball more like this way. So like, there you go. Beautiful. Still easy. I was just some kid dunking in Sudbury. Nobody would take a chance on me. There was like a dunking community online, so I dunked on like low rims, like eight foot rims, nine foot rims. Jordan started, you know, posting these YouTube videos and like getting attention for it. He was a kid, he'd watch these videos, he'd go up, put the net low, he'd try all these different dunks. Who makes day flew me out. And I'm dunking in front of like my idols. And I was just like doing their dunks better. And I was just like showing them up. To me, what's impressive is when somebody works and like earns their stuff. He would dunk like four hours a day, every day. I, I hate that term, Patrick speaks perfect. I hate it. Practice makes better. It's what you make out of it. It's all in the middle. Dunking is like the funnest thing ever. What's really fun for me is to create new dunks. I don't care that much about dunk competitions or that kind of stuff. I just like creating new stuff. For some reason, it was just dunking. My dreams were just to like, or not to have this as a full-time job, but just to do it on the side. So this is like way surpassing my dreams. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs>
So right now we're at Cambrian College in uh, Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. The reason why I love living here is, well, one, the people are amazing. Lots of green, you know. We have the most uh, freshwater lakes per capita, I think, in the world. So many outdoor rims, glass backboards, which is beautiful. Oh, and one more thing about my city, which I love for dunkers anyways, I have like three gyms I have access to like that are like empty all the time. So I can just dunk whenever I want, dunk whenever I want. Dunk whenever I want. I might actually be able to make it. That'll be close though. <laughs> Push it a little bit more that way. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, just soft. Come on! Dang it, a few more times. I'm jumping so low. Come on. Nice passing though. It's like a one I'm trying to like completely put in the rim with the right one, the left one just like slaps it off that ball. Why do I suck? Yeah, like I'm jumping too much that way, right? <sighs> Come on, Joy. I need a bit of time. Dang it. I keep on wanting to drink water, but I can't because this bit like makes my arms sticky. <laughs> Come on. Ah! All right, that's it. My best moment in my life was at this dunk contest called Ghetto Games where I kept losing every dunk contest and I finally made the dunk and I landed it and it was like, everybody kept calling me YouTube dunker and that I wasn't an actual dunker and I finally Beat all the best in the world, did a dunk over a car, and it's like, out before I'm even landing, I'm screaming. It was like the best moment of my life, hands down. <laughs> At Dunking, I had, you know, my mom, my brother there, like all my friends that are dunkers, like there, like 30 of them on the baseline watching me instead of being in the back. And I'm going after this new dunk that nobody's ever seen before. Imagine what that moment would have been like. Like, I have the rest of my life to make 100 grand, the rest of my life. That moment would have been like, like, like my best moment, but on another level. That would have been insane. But instead, it's probably the most depressing moment of my life, which honestly is just as important. I failed what I was going for. With the right mindset, like any failure is just, it still helps you grow as a person, right? So it's still a win. Jordan is a weird guy. I would even talk to him and be like, what are you doing? Like, go go try and be good at basketball. You're wasting your time. You're not, you're not gonna be a dunker. That doesn't make any sense. What was he like as a kid? Oh my God. Quiet, very quiet. Your brother said you were weird. I'm definitely weird. I'm definitely weird. I'm definitely not a normal person, that's for sure. Uh, honestly, me and Grant will always say, like, Jordan's weird, he's different, he's unique. Yeah, I was also a pushover, you know, and they weren't pushovers. Yeah. And that's, thing, that's one thing that took a long time for me to learn, to not be a pushover, so. You know, I just wanted to be a nice guy, I wanted people to like me, I guess. And now I'm like, I don't care, like, I like me. You can screw yourself, like, I'm, I'm happy with me. But right now, we're gonna go to our camp on this lake, on McFarland, on this lake. What's up? Live out here? Yeah, yeah. That, that's why we're going. That's where we're, we spend the summer. This was going to be my first time actually seeing him dunk over a car. And so I was just like very scared. And so I was starting to cry before he dunked because I was so stressed. He did it and, and he landed it like I had nothing to worry about. But I was very relieved when he landed it. And so you see me 
I reacted and went, oh, thank God, something like that. But then they replayed it on the thing in slow motion and it shows me going, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, you, whenever you do a dunk in a dunk contest, you have to act like it's the first time you've ever done it. And you'd be like, like, yeah, like, like, as... And the showmanship. Exactly. The showmanship. I showed up to my yeah. first dunk contest, like, first big one. And I did, like, three dunks that I've never been done in a dunk contest before. So, yeah, I just go up, I jump up, and I just go sit down. I'm like, like, dude, you gotta act excited. I'm like, why? I've done it, like, a thousand times. I'm like, I don't know. So then I eventually learned to, like, hype up the crowd and put on a show. Some hey, that's what I mean. That's like that, and yeah. I think Jordan had to develop that. Yeah. You couldn't pay me enough to like drop dunking and go to basketball. Just be like, what if you what if they gave you like five million dollars to play one year in the NBA? I'm like, screw off. Like, no, I'm I'm dunking. That'll just take away from what my best ever will be. Like my peak, I want my peak whenever that is. Hopefully it's still in a bit of time from now. But uh I want that to be like the highest possible ever. I want to be like I don't know, I don't want to hold back on what my best is. I don't want to take a year off now and go play basketball and destroy my hops. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll study some baby jumps. That's nice. 